one, two, three, four, five. Feet clear, keep lines clear. So, partial step there. That one's planted wing because of the tailwind component overshot. Lovely little flight, nice playtime. Keep the feet there. The one that's not moved, acquire all the lines and over. And with the rear riser flare, rather than using the brakes, that's where I ended up and touched down about there. Ah, oh, cracking, cracking. Now, if I hadn't been filming with the camera, might have worked that a little bit. Not that there was a lot left, but just a very, very enjoyable little play flight. Excellent time. Hike up and have a look at that site. <sighs> Magic. And there's a real master at work. That's right next to where it took off. Difficulty getting focus lock. There we go. Nice. Wind switched round. Probably as much as. Uh, waiting and seeing what happens over the next minute or so. Now the wind there will be able to start the airflow. Almost certainly flowing down through the valley now. Right. Okay, tactile, visual check, audio. Tactile, visual check, audio. Cattle are down at the feeder though, so I've got to make sure to land well clear of them and then pack up and walk back. Alright, let's see. Let's see, missed about the feet. Recheck the airspace. Slow turn. and get over that fence. So go to the camera and back up the controls. Fence one cleared. Get we dive towards fence two and then over into lift. There it goes there. Okay. Now we've got the side with it cut down that way or there. And probably the best bit is down to get clear. Much easier to play the cattle by a good distance. Back up the controls. Drifting left, so the wind is coming down the valley at the moment. Heading for the road. Get ready, pick in the right turn. And going for the rears. And down. There we go. And Cattle up there, totally undisturbed. Excellent. Nice little flight down here. Fantastic.
about uh, five, six minutes after landing. Yeah, definitely switching round. Good call to launch off and come down. Uh, it'd been an easy landing into wind up the valley, but uh, the ground speed would have been fairly low. Initial forecast was generally indicating westerly, not too much. And as we can see from the clouds, other spot winds were indicating 040, so north easterly. Getting pressure again, almost 7 going out tomorrow. So, depending where I drive to next before I head up to Perth, might get some low ridge soaring, but I think that's uh, probably not worth hiking up any of the bigger hills. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, you, you, that wind is just 